All right, so today we're talking about the two smallest and maybe the sleekest looking camera sling bags by Alpaca. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Desmond and I'm a content for creators that wanna take better photos and shoot better videos. And as you can see here, we are talking ultra slim, ultra compact, camera sling bags. So first of all, I just wanna say that Alpaca did send me these sling bags, but they don't get to see this video before it goes out. They have no control over my opinion. So everything I'm gonna share with you is my own. So I don't know if you're anything like me, but in 2022, my goal is to just bring a camera with me as often as possible. And sometimes that doesn't mean lugging around my a7R4 or my FX3. It just means bringing a camera with me, whether it's big, it's small, it's a ZV-1, it's a GoPro, it's a drone, just something I can have on me to capture precious memories with my family when I'm out and about during the day. So a lot of the times for me, a sling bag, especially something that's really compact and really light is my go-to choice. Like I said, I don't always wanna bring my a7R4 around or my FX3. I want something really small and minimal and low key, especially if I'm going places that are really crowded and people just kind of notice big cameras. And that's where these ultra compact Alpaca sling bags come in. So let's talk about this first one. This is the Alpaca Atom X sling bag. And as you can tell, this thing is crazy, crazy thin. I really love the profile of this particular sling bag. And the Atom X is great, especially if you're someone who likes to rock a sling bag under a jacket, or you're going somewhere where you wanna be pretty low key, you wanna like make sure your gear and your stuff is safe, your passports. This is a really good option because it's so thin that you could wear this under a jacket and no one would ever really notice. But let's walk around and take a look at the bag itself. So first of all, build material of this thing is really, really nice. It has this really nice colorway and the finish is amazing. Again, with alpaca bags, you're always gonna get really quality build materials. Everything down to the leather accents that run along the bottom of the bag, the really high quality reinforced stitching. And also it comes down to these water and weather sealed zippers. These are really heavy duty. Everything is sealed up and the gear inside always feels safe. Continuing along the outside of this bag, if you take a look at the back here, you kind of have that classic alpaca magnetic latching system, which I really like, and it just makes it really, really convenient. So, man, love me a good magnet. All right, so let's talk pockets and what this baby can hold. So first of all, take a look here. Again, man, look how thin this thing is. Main zipper up top. And you take a look inside. I don't know if you can see this, but it has this really nice gridded material here. Uh, inside there are two additional organizational pockets, but you take a large pocket like this and you can fit a number of things. For me, when I'm carrying something this low profile, I'm bringing something like a ZV-1. I love this particular camera, my favorite of 2021, but great photo quality, great video quality, perfect for vlogging, on the go capturing, really easy to use. But this bag, even better, right? Take a look at this. So, goes right in there. I've got plenty of space for other things, or I could even slide the ZV-1 into one of these exterior pockets for additional organization. So now that I've got the ZV-1 in here, there's additional space for other things. So maybe I wanna bring my GoPro Hero 10, right? And let's zip that up. Okay, so now I've got a ZV-1 and a GoPro Hero 10 in here. Take a look at the profile of this particular bag. I don't think it has changed that much. Obviously you can see the, the shape of the cameras in here, but this is still a very low profile sling bag. So again, for those of you that wanna travel really light and really simple, this sling bag works great. Let's continue on to some of the other zippers of this particular bag. All right, so moving on to the back, you've got this additional compartment here. You've got this weather sealed zipper. This is an iPhone 13 Pro Max for reference. You can slide that right in there. So again, this is perfect if you wanna travel with like your passport, your credit card, your wallet, and your phone in a compartment that's really safe and it's up against the body. That's really great. And then one more pocket here on the front. If you see here, it runs along the entire front. And what I really like about this particular compartment here is this kind of white lining. It makes throwing in like black and dark gear really easy to find. And you've got this key ring holder for your keys if you need it. One last thing I wanna show you is this like modular strip right here. So if you take a look, let's see. 
You've got this kind of like Molly system, and this is actually for the Alpaca Hub quick release system. I don't have that on me. Maybe I'll order some and show you what this full load up looks like. But anyways, you'd be able to click the magnetic attachments to these straps and then you can quickly attach and detach different things like a wallet or hand sanitizer or keys or anything else you need that you want to hang on the outside of your bag and just one other thing if you needed to like clip a carabiner to anything you've got this cute little hook on the back really useful again i will caveat that obviously alpaca didn't build this bag specifically to carry your tiny mirrorless cameras but you know what when it comes to cameras that small you're really gonna find a company that built something specific with dividers that holds a ZV-1 or a GoPro Hero 10. Something like that is perfect for that kind of like on the go run and gun setup for tiny, tiny mirrorless cameras. So let's move on to our second sling bag. This is the Alpaca Go Sling Mini. You can already tell kind of right off the bat that it has a different form factor and because of its size, it holds a different set of things and I'll just show you side by side. Although the bags are relatively similar in dimensions, this is a much less low profile bag. Don't get me wrong, this is already still very small, but let's kind of move around the material. So this Go Sling Mini is in an all black color. The materials are very similar and you still have those high quality weather sealed and water sealed zippers. So let's just start with this external pocket here. So you take a look inside, you've got a little bit more organization here. You take out this main pocket, You've got your key ring holder. All the alpaca bags come with this, which is really nice addition. And then you've got some extra pockets for uh, storage. So you can throw in your ZV-1 batteries, you can throw in keys, mini tripods, whatever you want. That's gonna be great. And again, for size reference, iPhone 13 Pro Max, you know, fits in there super easily. All right, so let's move on to the main compartment here. I'm gonna zip this wide open. All right, so we have a much larger compartment and because of the way this is designed, you can open this up a lot more. So let's see what we can fit in here. You've got two additional dividers and then you've got this large felt line divider. I think this is also perfect for those of you that are carrying like an iPad mini. Also, I think this is really well designed for anyone that wants to do mobile gaming. So like a Nintendo Switch would be a perfect piece of gear to carry in here along with say like your ZV-1, right? So I can just toss the ZV-1 in here, fits really well. Let's see if this holds a DJI Mini 2. Oh, that does. Okay, so you could do this as like drone carry. I think that's the nice thing about this particular bag is although the dimensions aren't that far apart from the Atom X, because of the way it's designed, it can hold a lot more gear. So I can take a quick and easy drone setup with me, right? So I've got my DJI Mini 2 in here. I've got the remote and then front pockets give me access for extra batteries. And let's zip this bad boy up. So here you go. This is much nicer than the DJI Mini 2 bag that came with the accessory kit. So I actually would prefer this over that. Okay, so moving to the back, don't forget I've still got an entire drone and remote in here. We've got the back pocket. This one's pretty standard. There is no additional organizers in here. I think this is again, just kind of perfect for throwing in an iPhone. That's an iPhone 12. Okay, so now we've got a drone, a remote, and a phone in here. Let's see if we can find a way to fit in a ZV-1. That might be pushing it for this particular bag, but you know what? It never hurts to try. And, wow. Okay, it zips. So here we go. We've got a Sony ZV-1 in here. We've got a DJI Mini 2 the remote, and then we still got space for my iPhone in the back. This is a pretty impressive setup for something so small. Obviously it's looking a little bit bulky. I don't think this was meant to carry that much stuff. You could probably get away with not bringing your drone, but if you want something that's like really nice and sleek for drone carry, this might be the perfect option. I actually never thought of it for that. I have that DJI Mini 2 bag and I kind of hate how ugly and bulky it is. This is a really nice way to carry your drone around. 
I mean, so take a look at that. It looks really nice and well built for this. And again, like honestly zips away. You are just kind of ready to rock. And again, for those of you that like to fly your drone with like an iPad, you've got this compartment here for an iPad mini. So you could slide in your iPad mini. Now you've got your remote, you've got your drone, you've got some batteries and you have a full kind of drone videography and photography setup in this tiny little Alpaca Go sling mini. All right, so with that said, these are my two tiny alpaca sling bags that I love for on the go photography and filmmaking. If you like this content, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you check back for more videos just like this. I picked up a ton of bags for 2022, so these are gonna keep coming out. Let me know what you think in the comments. I will catch y'all in the next one.